Hi, I'm Dala, and today we're going to be looking at Chedemo adapters. Recently, there's been a lot of them popping up on the web for sale, and uh, lots of you guys are asking me uh, what's my opinion on them, uh, do they even work, etc. So instead of just replying to each and every one of you individually, I thought I'd make this video where I just uh, yeah go through them and share what my views are on them. And keep in mind, I am no expert on these. Uh, I don't sell them. Uh, I don't really have any like uh, real knowledge on Chadamo adapters. Well, or maybe wait, uh, I'm lying. I have a Chadamo adapter right here that I'm building, but uh, more on that later. So let's go look at the maybe fake ones instead. So yeah, to the computer. Okay, got the webcam going here. Let's look at some uh, videos and uh, products. So the first one here that's uh, a bit interesting is uh, this video. I've been sent this one many times uh, by a company called Charge Spy, and um, what they have here is a normal CCS charger, and then they have a vehicle, and uh, this vehicle is uh, quite special. It has um, a GBT socket here on the left, and then it has also a Chademo here on the right. And uh, what they do in this video is that they plug in an adapter into the vehicle and the adapter looks something like this which is a uh, uh, very very small very small adapter and uh, the idea is then that you plug in your CCS handle directly into this but this is a bit um, misleading because uh, you can see here it's it's uh, plugged in and uh, then also it is charging and uh, everything is looking good however this vehicle internally has been modified. This is not a simple adapter. This vehicle is, um, like, like I mentioned, it comes with the GBT standard. And what it appears as if they've done is that they have added internally a Chademo socket. But the GBT layer and the, also the uh, CCS layer is quite, quite um, uh, relative to each other. So it's easy when they have done these internal modifications to come up with this adapter. And I also checked on their Instagram, they had a post where they listed the vehicles that were compatible with this, and the list was very limited, mostly these imported uh, vehicles from China, uh, which have the GBT socket already. So yeah, this one is not something that you could uh, get and plug into your uh, leaf. Unfortunately, that would have been amazing. Uh, then the next one, uh, is this one that has been floating around a lot on, uh, especially on uh, Facebook. Everyone seems to link to this one. And um, by the looks of it, it's a very uh, expensive adapter. And uh, you also have to buy two, which is interesting. And this is a 3D printed uh, adapter. We can see here from, from the plastic that it's uh, 3D printed. And uh, it's very homemade. That's the first thing that uh, doesn't really, or it kind of rings alarm bells in my head because uh, these adapters or any like charging connector, it's the thing that separates you from the high voltage. So having them uh, to be this homemade 3D printed, I mean, this does not look like the Chademo pins. This is just something that they made themselves. Uh, I would be very skeptical if this even uh, works. Not just because of the pins, but because of the size of this adapter. Uh, when you go from, uh, if you have like, a, you know, these all the Teslas that have these adapters uh, that can use the Chademo sockets also. Uh, going from that way, so you convert the Chademo cable into CCS, that one is easy. But for uh, the other way around, you also have to have a 12 volt available inside the adapter and you need contactors. So it becomes quite difficult to do this. And uh, actually, if you take a look at my own adapter, I will show you what I'm talking about when I'm talking about these uh, components. So yeah, let's look at that. Okay, so one of the reasons why I'm a bit skeptical to these is uh, the size of the adapters, because there's going to be a lot of electronics inside. Uh, if you take a look at, at uh, my version here, and uh, here you can see my testing briefcase. It's not complete yet, but I hope to have some uh, good testing with this soon. Uh, first of all, we have the Chadema CCS socket out of our BMW, and there's also the locking mechanism, and all this goes to the uh, BMW i3 LIM, which handles the 
Ethernet over power communication. Uh, Ethernet is used on these high voltage lines. Uh, then we also have a voltage measurement card and lots of uh, row terminals for all these wires to interconnect. And then we have contactors, uh, both for positive and negative side. And the Chatham cable will enter here and will connect to these contactors. What's missing here also is that uh, there's going to be a control unit uh, for the actual Chatham side. That control unit will also send the CAN messages needed to the BMW limb. And under this nice piece of wood here, we also have our 12 volt lead acid battery because uh, that's also needed for this adapter. It has to power itself. And then also here on the outside there will be a, a on-off button and also here there will be a status LED uh, later on installed. So lots of parts needed and they take up quite the amount of space. So this is why I'm a bit skeptical of those adapters that are so tiny because you need to fit uh, quite a lot of electronics into an adapter. By the way, if we talk about adapters that work, uh, Johannes Hübner has uploaded this video a while back also that many people have linked me to and this is uh, pulling power and converting it uh, from CCS to CHAdeMO and this adapter actually works this is a proof of concept so this is not a, a standard product but uh, as you can see here we have the CCS socket and we actually have a uh, 3D printed also CHAdeMO plug which um, it saves a lot of money uh, because the actual CHAdeMO cables, if you buy a normal, uh, is it 5 or 7 meter CHAdeMO cable, you have to pay like 1,400 euros or something like that. So they are very, very expensive. So, uh, but this is um, also a proof of concept. This is not a standard product, but this is very interesting because this uh, uses a different approach. This does not have the BMW i3 limb. This one actually has a, another uh, board that does the PLC communication. So, very nice progress and uh, be sure to check out this video instead of having me explain it to you. It's, it's much better to watch this uh, video on your own. Uh, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching this uh, quick video of me ranting a bit about those adapters because I just get constantly asked about them. And uh, I hope that the next video regarding the CCS to Chadamo topic I will be able to actually uh, show a working adapter. And uh, once I have my uh, briefcase working I will share with you all the build details and how you can construct one of these on your own. Uh, our, my original game plan for making that CCS adapter was to modify the car but uh, then I came to the conclusion that uh, it's not gonna benefit a lot of people to to put CCS on the vehicle. This has been done uh, already loads of times by those doing conversions. They routinely add CHAdeMO or CCS to a car and that's quite simple. But actually building it as a portable adapter, uh, that's going to be more useful for people. Uh, and uh, you can then have people that share an adapter. And if someone goes on a long trip, they can bring that adapter. And you can have like, yeah, yeah it's a lower investment cost that way. But yeah, um, more on that later. And um, yeah, I will see you in the next video.